How's it going, neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com, and we're taking a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt bike carrier on our 2021 Nissan Murano. The XTC2 Tilt is a bike carrier that's frame mounted, so it's going to make contact with the top tube of your bike. Uh, if you have a carbon fiber bike or unconventional frame, it may not be the best option for you. A wheel mounted carrier may be better, but if you're not overly concerned with that contact to your frame, this is going to be one of the better ways to transport your bike as far as being cost effective. All right, and we're going to take a look at our tilting feature. We're going to remove our pin and bring our carrier down, just being cautious to not drop it on us. And as you can see on the Murano, with the small frame bike that we have on, we're, we make a lot of space for you to get to the cargo area without having any contact. Now that'll vary depending on the size of your bike, but I think that's a good amount of space to, in order to get to your cargo area without having to dismount your bikes. To remove our bike from the carrier, we're gonna leave our hook on and just release the straps from the wheel cradles. The hook is gonna help stabilize the bike. And once we get that done, we're just gonna just snatch our hooks off. And you do have the option to lower the center mast and that gets it even further out of your way, making loading and unloading even easier. Now that we have our bike off, let's take a closer look at the carrier. The XTC2 Tilt can support uh, tires up to 2.5 inches wide. Uh, as far as your overall width for your wheelbase, you're at 52 inches. You could secure the mass down this way and still allow you to still have access to your cargo area by just installing the pin here. However, there is also another feature where you can fold it in to have a thinner profile. So we're gonna use the same pin and secure the center mast. We're going to remove this one and do the same on this side. Get our hooks out the way. And we're just going to secure our cradles just to make sure we don't lose them going down the road. In the folded position, you can see that it's gonna block a portion of your license plate, but your tail lights and backup lights are you know, clear. You're not gonna have any issues with that. Shouldn't see too much coming out of your back window. Just be cautious that you have your carrier on the back of your vehicle. The XTC2 is a uh, adaptable for a one and a quarter inch as well as a two inch uh, receiver opening. And it also comes with an anti-rattle bolt to secure it in. The shank itself does have a three inch rise to help give you a lot better ground clearance. And just to, cause I have my tape in my hand, we can just get an idea. That puts you about 14 inches from the ground. Uh, if you do have heavier bikes on the rear, that can affect it and you may dip a little bit. So just be cautious when you're going up those steep driveways and inclines. And we're gonna see how close we're getting to the vehicle itself. Uh, we're about five inches from the bumper at the closest point, 20 inches from the bumper at the farthest point. Overall, you know, it's pretty compact in the stowaway mold. Uh, as far as a carrier, it's a good option that has a tilt feature uh, if you're looking for something that's more value-minded. If you're wanting something a little beefier, the Hollywood Rack uh, Destination 2 Bike Carrier or Sport Rider would be a more solid option. It just will require a little bit more investment. But if you're just now getting your feet dirty, got a bike, trying to hit the trails, trying something new, it wouldn't be a bad uh, starter bike carrier. So again, this has been a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt bike carrier on our 2021 Nissan Murano. I'm Ed, this is eTrailer.com, and you have a great day. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.
once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. 